Aloha, everyone! Finally, we had a chance to visit Hawaii once more. This is our first time on the island of Kauai. And what better place to spend a week on this lush and gorgeous island is at Grand Hyatt Kauai. Grand Hyatt Kauai sits on a sprawling 50 acres of land, one of the largest on the island, in sunny Poipu on Kauai's south shore. This is truly a Hawaiian beach resort that has everything you could ever want in a mega beach resort. In this video, I will show you the grounds and amenities of the property that you will enjoy in this beautiful and lush resort. But allow me to briefly show you how to get there. From Lihue Airport, it will take you less than 30 minutes to get to the resort. All I can say is that the route is quite picturesque and contrary to Oahu or Maui, the traffic is light. You will see the rugged coast of Kauai, you will pass towns, some beaches, and of course, lush vegetation. Before you make a left at Highway 520, make sure your camera is ready because you will pass the magical entrance to the southern part of Kauai, the Tree Tunnel. If there aren't any cars behind, slow down and take in the beautiful view. After a few minutes from Poipu Road, you will enter the property. Once you get to the property, you'll be impressed. It's just one of those kinds of places where you never quite get over the scale. It does not have grand in the name for nothing. Be prepared to be surprised as you stepped into the lobby. It is so big, airy, and the floor are all marble. It's cream luxury. On entering, your eyes are mesmerized by the sight of the ocean from a distance. You can already feel the ocean breeze hitting your skin. If you look up, you see this beautiful lighting fixture hanging from the high ceiling. In front of the lobby, you have this small oasis, a lush tropical garden with this enormous tree that gives a beautiful shade of the garden. At certain times during the day, you will see parrots and birds in this area for guests to enjoy. This lobby area is the epitome of over-the-top architecture. After checking in, it is time to check out the room. As you walk down the hallway towards your room, you will notice a few historic artifacts on display. But the collection in Grand Hyatt is not as big as the one in Hilton Waikoloa Village on the big island of Hawaii. I'll post the link in the comment section or watch until the end and click the thumbnail. Back to the topic. Other than the artifacts, you will also see boutiques and souvenir shops as you walk through the corridors. Our room was on the first floor, as I requested, which was great because we brought our bikes with us. It is a standard room with ocean view. Once you are inside, to the right is this small closet. In front of the closet is this large bath area with double marble sink, a large mirror, and a standard shower and bathtub combo. I thought the amenities provided like the shower gels, lotions, were great. What is interesting is this electric bidet. We have a bidet at home, although not as luxurious as this one, so this was a great addition. Next to the closet is where the coffee maker is kept and below it is the safe and small refrigerator. Unique to Hyatt is that all rooms are provided with these refillable water bottles. Water filling stations are located all over the property. This is a great idea that will cut plastic waste and save guests money. We brought these bottles when we went to see attractions in Kauai and brought them home with us. Moving on to the bedroom and we got these two queen beds. The beds are comfy to sleep on. I think the headboard has a minimalist look, but if you look closely, there are some intricate design etched on the wood. In front of the bed is this 65-inch TV and stand with adequate amount of space for your stuff. Besides the TV, there is a small round table with two chairs. I used that place a lot while I was working on my laptop. However, the best feature of this room is the view from your own lanai. It has a beautiful view of the immaculate Hyatt ground and the ocean. 
It has two rattan chairs and a table to relax. Overall, the room is smaller than I thought for an ocean view room. The resort grounds are so vast and impeccably maintained, with coconut trees swaying with the ocean breeze coupled with tropical flowers and shrubs at the foot of the trees. There is a path that connects with a heritage trail that runs along the beach. It is so relaxing and breathtaking to walk along the trail. If you wake up early, you will see many people walking and running along this path while constantly stopping to take pictures. Speaking of taking photos, there is a good area to take photos with the word Aloha. Along the trail, you will also find rocking benches facing the ocean, ideal for relaxing or simply doing nothing and enjoying the ocean view. Close to the saltwater lagoons, there are cabanas facing the ocean, however, it's for rent. The ocean on the south shore during summer is unsuitable for swimming due to the big waves. And as you can see, the beach is rocky, so a single slip could hurt you or you could be swept by the strong current. There are red flags along the beach to signify that the ocean is dangerous to swim in. Two things you will never miss in this resort, the lush tropical gardens and water. Lots and lots of water. There are two small ponds when you enter the property. Elima Terrace Restaurant also has its own koi pond. But the biggest and most beautiful of all is the one at the center of the property. It has an artificial waterfall where the water cascades to the koi pond. The building in the middle of the pond is a tide pools restaurant. As you can see, there are plenty of colorful koi fish in this pond. It's time for me to show you the multi-level pools on the property. This is what makes Grand Hyatt Kauai famous for. I forgot to mention that this is primarily a family resort, but it has an exclusive adult pool as well. So, if you want a quieter time and don't want to be disturbed by the kids running around, then that's the pool for you. But it's not big with limited seating areas. You have to get here early and secure a pool chair for you. A few steps from the adult pool is the kids pool and the lazy river pool. In the kids pool, your kids can enjoy the 150 foot slide. Our son Lex loved the water slide. While the kids whoosh down the slide, the parents can relax at the lazy river pool. But what we enjoyed so much is the man-made saltwater lagoon. If you have been to Hilton Hawaiian Village or Hilton Waikoloa Village, those properties have saltwater lagoon as well. But the Hilton Hawaiian Village Lagoon is so cold most of the time and has a sandy bottom. Here in the Grand Hyatt, the bottom is concrete and the water is warmer, perfect for swimming. There is also a sandy area where your children can play with the sand while you watch them on your cabana or sunbed. There are also shallow areas so that small kids can enjoy the salt water without being hit by the waves. We had a great time in the salt water lagoon. FYI though, cabanas, which are scattered around the pool and beach areas are for rent. Let me tell you that it's not cheap. It's between $200 to $400. We rented one, the smallest on the beach, and it was $200. With your rent, you also get a cooler filled with ice water, sodas, and some local juices. If you are the type of person who enjoy the real salt water with real waves, or you like boogie boarding, then right next to the property, there is a small beach called Shipwreck Beach. Just be careful if you enter the water because the waves are bigger here and the current is so strong. When I filmed, no one was allowed in the water because the waves were really big and the current was pretty strong. You see that cliff? It's an excellent place to watch the sunrise or take great pictures. Perfect for your Instagram. If you're not scared of heights, Hike the Heritage Trail and it will lead you to the edge of the cliff. If you need extra pampering, head to Ankara Spa or if you need to burn extra calories, 
The gym is next to the spa. They got some weights, treadmills, and stationary bikes. Well, before you can burn calories, you must take in calories, right? Grand Hyatt has one of the best restaurants on the island, but it is not cheap. For breakfast, you got a couple of options. For a light breakfast, coffee and tea, freshly baked pastries and fruits, Sea View Terrace is perfect. Food aside, the restaurant has the best view in the property. It is located across from the lobby just past the tropical garden. You get a spectacular view of the Keoneloa Bay and you get a glimpse of the waterfall and the pond below. But if you want a hearty breakfast, check out Elima Terrace for a buffet breakfast. It is an open-air restaurant with a spectacular ocean and beautiful garden view. If you book through American Express Travel or you are a Hyatt globalist, you get free breakfast for two. If you don't have free breakfast, take note, breakfast is $40 per person. So what do you get for $40? Bucks? You get the standard continental fare, typical Hawaiian breakfast food, a selection of cereals, and of course, fruits, tropical fruits, and juices. The most interesting drinks are these kombucha shots. I love the watermelon chili pepper ginger shot. For a quick meal of burgers and fries for lunch or dinner, then head out to Hale Nalu, which is conveniently located by the pool. Stevenson's library offers sushi, but you need to reserve ahead of time. However, the queen of culinary experience at Grand Hyatt is Tide Pools, the thatched bungalow floating over a koi pond at the base of the waterfall. If you want a romantic dinner, this is the place to be. But it is very busy and it's so difficult to secure a reservation. If you wish to try eating here a month or more before your visit, reserve a table. I tried to make reservations several times during the hour stay, but I had no luck at all. The specialty at this restaurant is seafood. There are also two pool bars. The captain's bar is located near the adult's pool and the other bar is close to the saltwater lagoon. Be sure to order piña colada, the alcoholic or the virgin version. It is so good. I am pretty sure you will have a great time at Grand Hyatt Kauai. If you ask me if this is a luxury resort, like the Four Seasons, absolutely not. But there are plenty of amenities here that you will certainly enjoy. And if you have children, especially small children, this is the resort to stay. Your kids will enjoy this place as much as you do. I hope you enjoy watching this video. In my next video, I will take you to Maui and show you Hyatt Regency near Lahaina. In the meantime, check out my videos of Hilton Hawaiian Village in Oahu or Hilton Waikoloa Village on the big island of Hawaii. Until next time, travelers, mahalo!